Right, last little bit. And um, what I'm going to show you now is just the, the silly ones, the, the, the trick ones. All right. But once you get to know them, they're really quick and easy. All right. So let's have a look. So this one over here. Okay, where, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Gone? Right, this one over here. Come on, pen. That one there. All right. Now remember what I said when we were doing the absolute value equations when we're solving for these. You can't absolute anything to a negative number. Whenever you absolute something, it's a positive answer. Well, you look at that one there, you can't do it. There's no answer. All right? How can you absolute it? Anything less than negative 3 is going to remain a negative number. You can't absolute anything to a negative. This one has no solution. All right? Okay, there you go. Simple as that. When you see it, hopefully you remember that. Just like with the equal sign, you can't absolute to a negative. When it's less than negative, it's still going to be negative. All right? The next one. Anything less than 0 is still negative. You can't have it. All right? You can't have that one. Okay, but less than or equal to zero. Well, again, you can't have anything less than zero. You can have it equal to zero. So really, all you're doing is saying, right, x plus one can equal zero. So if you take away one from both sides, x can be negative one. Okay, for that one, that's it. X can be negative one. That's the only answer. X is negative one. All right. In fact, if I keep on going, negative one inside a parenthesis. Because really, that's your only option. The x plus 1 equals 0 part is the only option. You can't have it less than 0. Okay? So remember, uh, the one above here, you can't have that one because it can't be less than 0. That's negatives. It's okay to have less than or equal to 0 because the equal to 0 bit can count. All right? So that's it. That's the less than. Now, actually, the greater than, a little bit more awkward. Maybe. But again, once you're realizing, it can be quick. Okay, have a look at this one x plus 1 is greater than, inside absolute, remember, greater than negative 3. Well, when you absolute anything, it's always going to be a positive answer. Well, isn't every single positive number in the universe bigger than negative 3? What we're trying to say is you can put anything inside that absolute, and when you absolute it, it will be positive. Well, then it will always be bigger than negative 3. So you can put whatever you want in that absolute. Here's the answer. It's negative infinity. It's just all numbers, every single number. But we write it as negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, I hope you've kind of followed that. Honestly, as long as you see that, the greater than, I notice with the less than, you can't have the less than because they stay negative. Anything greater than negative 3, well, it'll be all the positive numbers. I mean, everything, all right, is greater than negative 3 if it's a positive number. So you can have whatever you want inside that absolute. Now, actually, it's the same for this next one. Every single number. Okay, that you put inside the absolute, when you absolute it, it will be positive. Well, zero and beyond is every single positive number in the universe. Again, all right? So again, you can put whatever you want in that. It will be bigger than or equal to zero, every positive number, okay? Including the zero. Now, I've stressed that because look at the next one. This doesn't include the zero. So when you think, oh, big, okay, here we go again. It's every single number. Everything will absolute and every absolute positive number. When you, positive, when you get a positive answer, it's bigger than zero. Yeah, what about zero? All right, what about zero? Okay, you can't have the zero. All right, so what you're trying to find is, is what is the thing that makes it zero? So here's the awkward bit. What is the thing that makes it zero? Okay, and that's what you can't have. All right, because it's got to be bigger than zero. All right, but it's not every single positive number. Okay, so because the zero doesn't count. So here we go. What I'm going to say is, okay, maybe you can just look at this and go, okay, what do I need to put here to make this zero? Okay. So can you see it's going to be negative 1? If I put negative 1 there, it's going to give a 0. Remember, we can't have a 0. There's no equal sign. So what we're saying is, is x. Now, what I'm trying to say is it's not actually x equals negative 1. That's what you can't have. You can't have negative 1 in there because there's no equal 0. It's not equal to 0. Uh, so what we're trying to get, is, again, is it is every single number pretty much like this one up here. Okay, Pretty much like that one there. Very similar, aren't they? It is pretty much every number except the thing that makes it zero, which is a negative one. This is the awkward thing to graph this, of course. Okay, um, let me just erase this. So just bear with me. So the graph for this is this, right? Here's the number line. All right. So remember, we can't have negative one. So here is negative one. Right here it goes. No equal sign. So you do parentheses. Okay, every number going that way. Okay, remember every number apart from negative one. Then you do a parenthesis pointing this way, just stick with it. 
And that's it. Remember I just said to you it's every number apart from negative 1. Just like the question above, every number, but you can't have the negative 1 because this one doesn't equal to 0. And that's the graph. Look at it. That is the graph. Okay, It goes from negative infinity to positive infinity apart from that negative 1. How do you write that as an answer in interval notation? Negative infinity to negative 1. Parenthesis. Remember, we're not including it. Again, remember that U-shape, the U. And then 1. Pretty much you're copying the diagram now, once you've got the diagram. Okay, and there we go. So again, those are the trick ones. Now, actually, there's not one on the test anyway, folks. I've had a look at it. So that, those are the trick ones, but they're not on the test, all right? Look at the homework.